The Galaxy S23 series turned out to be a big hit for Samsung, with the Ultra model being the most popular among fans. With that in mind, it might seem strange to talk about Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra so soon after the current model's launch. Rumors are beginning to surface, even though the Galaxy S23 Ultra is still a newcomer to the best phones list. But phone makers are always looking ahead to their next device, and that means work on next year's model is already well underway. As a result, expect a steady stream of Galaxy S24 Ultra leaks over the next several months, with the pace picking up the closer we get to the phone's expected launch in early 2024. Even though that's still a ways off, there's enough information out there to give us a broad outline of what Samsung may be planning for its next flagship phone. Talking about some early S24 leaks along with rumors specific to the Ultra model, here's what we've heard so far about the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Along with what we hope to see from Samsung's premium handset, the Galaxy S23 Ultra uses almost the same design as the S22 Ultra. One change concerns the curvature of the screen and the edges. The S23 Ultra screen isn't flat but is not as curved as the S22 Ultra. Flat screens are more durable, but there's no telling whether Samsung's S24 Ultra will have a perfectly flat screen. What we don't expect to change are the top and bottom edges, which have to be flat. That's because of the built-in stylus, which forces Samsung to use a flat bottom edge. Therefore, the top edge gets the same design. Likewise, the last few Ultra models have featured a 6.8-inch panel, one of the largest screens you can get on a phone that doesn't fold. We'd expect Samsung to stick with that 6.8-inch display for the S24 Ultra. The biggest display change could be to its refresh rate. Since the Galaxy S20 Ultra, that giant display has been capable of a 120Hz refresh rate. More recent models have been able to scale down to 1 Hz when the activity on screen is more static. The S24 Ultra could mix that up by increasing its maximum refresh rate to 144 Hz. That claim comes from the Samlova rumor site in a post containing several supposed details about next year's top Samsung phone. There are other devices out there with a 144 Hz display, though most of them are gaming phones. Given that Samsung likes to tout the gaming capabilities of its Ultra model, the fast processor, the big display, the internal cooling system designed to cut down on performance lags, it's not that big a stretch to imagine the S24 Ultra adopting this particular feature. Samsung's big camera change to the Ultra model happened this past year when the S22 Ultra's 108 megapixels main sensor made way for a 200 megapixels shooter. We wouldn't expect another big leap forward, though Sam Wolver does claim that Samsung will make some improvements to the sensor. That could mean anything from a wider aperture to let in more light to improvements in color reproduction. Another Sam Lover tip involves the telephoto lens on the S24 Ultra, which is supposed to get improved zooming capabilities. The S23 Ultra's camera setup includes a pair of telephoto cameras, one with a 3x optical zoom and the other with a 10x zoom, which can combine for a 100x space zoom feature. You'd think that improved zooming would mean we'll be able to get even closer to subjects, but we'll need to hear more details before we can be more certain. The S23 Ultra introduced a new front camera, so we'd only expect some fine-tuning there if Samsung's planning any changes at all. That leaves just the 12 megapixels ultra-wide lens on the back of the phone as a possible area of improvement. It's not going out on a limb to claim that whatever Qualcomm's top silicon is at this time next year, it will be in the Galaxy S24 Ultra. The Galaxy S23 lineup was entirely powered by Qualcomm chipsets after years of Samsung also including its own Exynos chips in some models. Samsung is rumored to be sticking with the all-Qualcomm approach for next year's S24 phones. We would imagine that would be the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 if Qualcomm sticks to its naming convention. We should hear details about that silicon toward the end of the year, which is when Qualcomm typically unveils its latest high-end chipset. That said, one rumor suggests the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 could appear earlier than usual, though we don't put that much stock in that claim. Rumors claim that Apple's upcoming A17 Bionic chip will be the only one built on a 3NM process this year, which could put the upcoming Qualcomm Silicon at a disadvantage in terms of speed and power efficiency. One rumor claims the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 will support UFS 4.1 storage, but considering how that storage spec has yet to be announced, we'd rank that claim as a dubious one. Another S24 Ultra rumor points to a possible RAM upgrade. Leaker Tyron Vats on Twitter claims that the S24 Ultra could come with as much as 16 gigs of RAM, which would be a major upgrade from the 8 or 12 gigs options on the S23 Ultra. One rumored S23 feature that never appeared in this year's phones was satellite connectivity. 
Sam Love expects that to change with the Galaxy S24 Ultra, which will allow that phone to match an iPhone 14 feature that allows people to send emergency messages even without cellular connectivity. It's unclear if that would be an ultra-specific feature or whether Samsung would follow Apple's lead and make satellite connectivity a capability for all of its flagship models. Given how thin Galaxy's 24 Ultra rumors are at this point, that leaves an awful lot of room for us to fill in the blanks with features we hope to see. After all, as capable a phone as the S23 Ultra may be, there are still some areas that Samsung could stand to improve. So, what are your expectations from Samsung's upcoming lineup? Share your valuable thoughts below in the comment section. And if you enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel will be massive, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you for the next time. Peace out.